Tommy, we're having a few problems with this skylight, as I'm sure you can see. Oh, yeah. It's definitely leaking. I can see the signs right here. See this staining right here? Yeah. There's water getting through the trim. Mm -hmm. Now up here in this corner and the other corner, you can see the paint's peeling. That means that there's water getting in behind there. Right here in the middle, this piece of wood is all bent and warped. That's from water getting in behind that. It leaks everywhere. Right. Now, if you look at the glass, you see how it's all foggy right there? I do. This is insulated glass. That means it's two panes of glass and they're set in a vacuum. When the seal breaks, the window will fog up. Well, if that weren't enough, this window at one time used to open via this crank, but it's stuck shut, so it's no longer operable. Time for a new skylight. Let's get on the roof. Okay. All right, Tommy, pretty nice setup you have here for us. We've got a roof ladder hooked into the ridge. Yep. We've got our harnesses tied into the ridge as well. Yep. And we've got this nice plank on roof jack, so we've got plenty of room to work. Can't be too safe when working on a roof. Now to get started, I want to remove the shingles around the skylight. I'm going to start from the top and work our way down, and I want to save them because we're going to reuse them. All right. How many courses up? Let's go two or three courses up. I want to have plenty of room to get our new flashing in. I want to get under that nail, pry it loose, and get it right up. All right, so when I get under the shingle like this and I pry up the nail, then pull it out, I don't damage the shingle and we can reuse it afterwards. So Tommy, you want to take two courses off above the skylight. How far you want to go left and right of the skylight? Well, at least a foot so we can make sure we get a good seal when we install the skylight. Tommy, let me see if I can push this up and out of the way for now. Beautiful. There's no brackets holding this window in. It's just nailed through the flange. Okay, here's our new skylight unit. Now, it's a little bit different than the other one. First of all, it's a fixed unit. It doesn't open. Well, now, hang on. Technically, that one didn't open anymore either. <laughs> well, that's true. The other thing is the other unit was so old that they don't even make that size anymore. So I had to get one that was close to that size but still a little bit smaller. So what are we going to do about that? Well, I'm actually going to trim the inside first before we install it so I can then fit the trim to the opening. Now I started with these pieces right here. This is an extension and I cut a tapered rabbit which will fit the tapered dado on the window. I'll slide these into place and put them all the way around the window. Then I'll build off of these with a filler and put my trim on top to fit the old rough opening. All right, now this is a little piece of side casing that's gonna sit right here on top of this filler that I made. Now you notice I put a line here. Well that line is to set a little reveal just like this so it'll match this reveal down here. Wait, now hang on a second. So this is the little flange that's going to sit on the actual roof deck, but you're saying casing and reveal. Does that mean that this is the finished trim that you're going to see from the inside of the house? Yes, I'm actually trimming the whole inside of the unit before we put it in place so I don't have to go up on a ladder. Clever. All right, what's next? I'm going to glue it in and nail it. Now before we put the window into the opening, I want to flash along the bottom of the opening with this self-sealing membrane, and only on the bottom. Stick it right on top of the rough opening, just like that. And you notice it's coming down on top of this course of shingles. That's very important. If the flashing goes under this course of shingles, the water will go under it if something should fail. Now we have a place for it to exit. I'm going to go right on top of that shingle over there. Let me give me a little right here. That's good. Right even with the opening. All right, so now we're ready to put the window in on top of this first course of flashing. Set over here. Yeah, just like that. All right, Fits now let so it get far. down. Look at you, Tommy. Once in a while, you get lucky. Perfect fit. Nice job. Yeah.
we're in. All right, so the next thing we want to do is nail the window into place into the sheathing every six to eight inches. All right, now that the window is nailed to the roof and on top of our first piece of cell sealing membrane, I want to put a second piece on top of this piece of membrane and onto the flashing and then up the front of the skylight. Okay. Now this is a real tricky thing because this stuff is so sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to peel it back just halfway. Just about like that. Now we want to flip it over and put the bottom right across here. All right. All right careful because that will stick to the skylight and make it nice and flat now we'll fold it down and then gently work it up and then peel it back at the same time right, right in tight I want to get it right in tight at the bottom of the flash in there oh yeah right there that corner yep okay so now we got to work it up to the face of the skylight under this flashing here look at that Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Let me just trim this a little bit here. Get the other piece ready Hold to it go. down and around. Okay. Good. Now make sure we go out beyond the window. Watch that flashing. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing, and I want to bring it down past the bottom about maybe an inch. All right, now we're ready to put on the flashing. Now this flashing comes as a kit with the skylight and it's all pre-bent. Oh yeah, now okay. I see why I use those short pieces on the side. Right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the bottom piece of flashing up by nailing into the side of the window. Okay, one nail, that's all we need. Okay, now we're gonna start reinstalling our shingles. Place this here, line it up here, line it up here, and nail it off. Now it's important that when you nail a roof shingle, you don't nail it up too high. You wanna nail it down low. That lessens the chance of the shingle lifting up on a windy day. Also, when I nail next to the skylight, I want to stay quite a ways away, just so I'm on the edge of the flashing. All right, now I'm going to run another piece of the self-sealing membrane up to the top of the window. Okay. All right, now we're ready to start flashing up the sides of the window, and we're going to step flash. And what that means is we have a first piece of flashing in and a shingle on top of it. Now I'm going to go on top of the shingle and the flashing, with another piece of step flashing. That will seal that joint. Next thing is I want to cover that flashing so we don't see it from the street. And I'll lay my shingle on top of that. Then I'm going to put a piece of flashing on top of that, alternating the courses all the way up. Okay, now before we go any further, I want to run another strip of the self-sealing membrane across the top of the window. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, good. We have a void right here between our self-sealing membrane and the paper that's on the roof. So what I want to do is take this last piece of self-sealing membrane and cover that void. Now we want to seal the top of the bottom flashing over this rubber gasket and the top of all of the step flashing up the sides. To do that, we're gonna use this piece of counter flashing right here. And this snaps into the side of the window. Slide it up like that. Now push it into the side of the window. 
Get it right up like that. Push it right in. Let me get it up here a little more. I'm caught. There. Got it? I'm in. Okay. Okay, now that's a watertight connection on the two sides and the bottom. Okay, the last piece of flashing or counter flashing is this piece right here. Snaps on the top. Make sure it's down tight. Now I'm going to nail right in here, but up about halfway. Now I want to lock the bottom down, so I'm going to rotate this little piece of metal right here into the slot and bend it down. And now that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, we have one more piece of flexible flashing and a few more shingles. Okay, that's it for the shingles. The roof is done. The skylight is flashed across the bottom and step flashes up the side and counter flashes on. This skylight's not going to leak. Nice. All right. So is that it? Last step? Well, I have one more thing to do. Inside, I want to caulk around the perimeter of the trim and paint.